going to go over the electrochemical and electromotor kit here. Uh, as you see, first thing you do, take everything out. You're, you need four dowel pins. There's some extra dowel pins here that you don't really need. Uh, you need the magnet, the cup, LED, the wire, the copper tape, and the post for the motor. Extra things, other than the, what comes in the kit, a pencil would be handy. If you have a little tool for or credit card for pushing the copper tape into the uh, where the motor wire sits, that would be great. A pair of scissors and a blade and a C-size battery. So I'm going to start by doing the electrochemical uh, uh, kit. Uh, first thing you want to do is open the copper tape. The copper tape has an adhesive side and a non-adhesive side. The, this is the side that conducts. The adhesive side is not conductive, so you have to make sure you remember this. So what you do initially, you just take a little section for the terminal of the battery. You want to connect the battery terminal to the, to the first post. So you just stick it down, as I did, and with the pencil, it works really well. You just stick it right there. That's all there is to it. And then you take another piece and do the other terminal, same as before, with a pencil. This is for the 9 volt battery. You can just go ahead and drop your magnet in just to uh, have it ready to go. And uh, now we need to connect the battery to the electrochemical. Uh, area, the condu liquid conductivity area. So this area is for the LED. You need to put the LED. The way you do that is by taking a piece of copper tape, wrap it around one of the dowels like this. You can start like halfway. This is uh, just a way to secure the LED. You need two of these. I'll put this one here and I'll do another one here as you can see you do that again now what you need to do is put the LED in in here I'll just leave it there uh, this connects one leg as you can see, copper will conduct the uh, electricity from here to the first leg of the LED. You just wedge it in, just gently, not much is required. Just let me work this end of the copper. We need another section now to connect to the electrochemical reservoir, to the liquid reservoir. So you just measure and cut, as I mentioned when you were, when you purchased the kit it's it's really easy to do and all you have to do is just put the tape down and just tap it down with the pencil eraser works really well now is the time to connect the second leg of the LED so again like before you just wedge it in now an electrical energy goes from the battery negative terminal through the LED into the electrochemical kit uh, reservoir now we need to connect to the switch. This is a switch here. And this is how we do it. Again, cut a little section. Remove the adhesive. Remember to make sure you wash your hand well with soap and water so you don't put a lot of oil on the, uh, on the copper because it may uh, not stick and also it gets oxidized uh, and won't uh, perform properly afterwards. So now you've connected it here. Uh, now we need to connect to the positive terminal from the switch. And as before, you just simply cut a piece. Uh, remove the adhesive back. And that always seems to be the hardest thing. Uh, okay. So we go from the switch to the terminal here. Now we're going to make this switch. The switch is very easy. Just like the other two, 
The way you make the switch, cut enough copper tape to cover half of the dowel. These are called uh, wood dowels or sticks or whatever you like to call it. So now you have this dowel covered with the copper tape. And if you look here, if, you, if I place the co uh, this dowel like this, the copper tape will be touching the wood and will not conduct. And like this, it will conduct. So let's just keep it con conducting for now. And before we complete this circuit, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to connect from the positive terminal to the motor, one of the motor posts. And the reason we do that is we want to make sure that uh, we have a junction here where the positive terminal, there's two lines, one to the uh, liquid reservoir and one to the motor post. So here we place this nicely down here and and we place the other in here and again use the eraser works beautifully it's it's a it works like a charm every time now for the junction or the split here what you want to do is wrap the copper tape uh, in a radial fashion because you want to connect all three of these lines together so, and and then just you just put it here voila now you have a completed circuit now now we need to work on the on the cup and uh, connect the cup to the rest of the system And the way you do that is by making sure that, uh, oh, I think I cut the copper here a little bit too short. Of course you can uh, use uh, any other type of conductive tape or just simply a piece of wire for this as well. So you secure the copper tape to the outside of the cup. So there's a connection from the inside to the outside. Make sure they're not touching on the inside of the cup, otherwise it won't uh, work properly. Now, as you see, if I put this here, you will have a connection from the negative terminal through the LED, through the copper tape, into the liquid, and then through the liquid to the other terminal, to the switch, and then to the junction and back to the positive terminal. And so now we're ready to test this segment. Test the electrochemical uh, setup here. And what we're going to do is uh, put a little bit of lemon juice from real lemon into this water and then we'll take the electrical um, our liquid reservoir and we'll put some of this lemon juice and water in it and stick it right here and then we'll take the battery and uh, put it right here so you take the battery and look this is the negative terminal this big round thing and you put the negative here and uh, and as you see the LED light is lighting up because you have lemon juice it uh, conducts and you can test various juices and this switch turns it on and off now it's off now it's on works really nice one thing to remember uh, the LED has a little bitty flat side on this side make sure the flat side is towards the negative terminal of the battery this flat side here 
negative terminal of the battery otherwise it will not turn on uh, and you have to reverse the battery but LEDs pass current only in one direction okay okay uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is this point needs to be a junction as well because you need one line for the LED and another line for the negative terminal of the motor so as before uh, I just changed, took that dowel out and you go ahead and do this and uh, now we're going to take the tape and put it down and then you can just gently turn the tape to 90 degrees and then here again we need another 90 degrees just fold it don't cut it if you cut the tape it's not going to work anymore because of the fact that it's only conductive on one side again with the pencil we push this in and just tamp it down tamp it down now we got energy we got electricity to the motor now the next thing to do is to put the connect the electricity from the terminals to the posts where the motor is going to sit and that's very easy to do you basically put the copper tape now this is just one step that you have to be careful with to make sure that you get the copper tape without cutting it into the groove and voila so one is done and again boom you just put it right in here and now we do the other one it's really very simple this is what the youngsters need to get excited about electronics and not be intimidated by it so here we put the other side and again we're ready to go so now we have the second side connected now we gotta build a motor 